Herbst forced to make one save and got no on the doorstep and what a stop by Herbst who got the stick over and Rob the Three years ago painted a very different future for the 18-year-old from Etobicoke, Ontario. Fresh off winning the 2012 OHL Cup with the Mississauga Rebels, Liam Herbst was drafted in the first round by the London Knights. Well on his way to becoming a top goalie in the Ontario Hockey League, Liam experienced the first of many setbacks. Sometimes you're a hockey player, you get bruised or banged up a little bit and you don't think anything of it and just go out and play the next day. But then um, after I was drafted to London, one day I was on the ice the day that they announced my signing and um, I just, my knee just almost popped and then it was a strange feeling and it kind of went away a bit and so, and then looked into it a little bit deeper and realized that there is a lot more than just, um, you know, one little pop on the ice that's significant damage to, to, my, to my knees and needed to be addressed. Two knee surgeries led to two hip surgeries, causing Liam to miss the entire first season with the Knights. He spent the full year working towards becoming healthy again, thanks to the support of his family. I always had a positive outlook on it. I always knew that I'd come back stronger as a player because of it, which can be very hard as a 15-year-old. Being told that, again, <laughs> your, your body in, was in bad shape and it's gonna take a while to get back to 100%. My parents sat down and talked to me and said, Liam, if you really want to do this, said we'll support you 100% and you're real back to becoming a hockey player. But said if you don't, I said that's 100% okay with us. So you don't owe anything to us, but we feel that we owe you that opportunity to hopefully get, um, you know, realize your dream. Liam returned to the ice in 2013 to play for the Junior B London Nationals before being traded to the Ottawa 67s, a move that head coach Jeff Brown admits was a gamble, but has seen Liam come a long way. Nobody works harder than, than Liam. He's faced a lot of adversity and he was at the top of the mountain. He was one of the best goalies around as a kid and, and certainly got a little wake-up call with all these injuries and um, I think it's made him and it's going to make him a great goalie. He's just... Uh, He's worked so hard to try and get back and uh, for him to overcome what he's gone through is pretty remarkable. Liam quickly established himself as a starting goalie for the 67s and it seemed he was back on track to becoming an elite goalie but on December 3rd last year he sustained a concussion when Belleville's Jordan Subban crashed into him forcing him to press pause yet again on his season. He goes right over top. Yeah, there's uh, no attempt to get out of the way. Liam missed six weeks before returning to the ice, only to receive a phone call a couple of weeks later that would test just how far the 18-year-old has come. I was just turning on to Queen Elizabeth to get to the rink for, for morning club, and I got a call from, from my agent, and he said, pack up your bags, you're, you're going to St. Catharines to play in the prospects games. I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll, I'll head back back out to Carp and then the airport and to St. Catharines and then the big game the next day. So it was a little bit of a, a whirlwind there. Quite a mentally exhausting 48 hours or so, but it was just an unbelievable experience. A very happy day for my family and myself. Along with Nick McBride of the Prince Albert Raiders, Liam recorded the game's second shutout in its 20-year history, helping Team Orr shut out Team Cherry 6-0. After the game, I kind of realized that you know, it was a great accomplishment that I had that night, and that I'll, it'll be a moment that I'll remember for, for a long time. Now with just a handful of games left in the regular season, playoffs are in the 67's future. Liam is eligible for the NHL draft this year, but knows it's one game at a time. Every game I play, I want to win, and that's all you can focus on. You can't control the future or past. I just want to live in the, <clears throat> in the now and try to win as many games for my team as possible, and then go from there. For Rogers TV, I'm Elizabeth Zogalis.